In nominating Ron Doobie to the Wyoming Outdoor Hall of Fame, one nomination letter reads, Ron Doobie is the quintessential outdoorsman. He has had a soul connection with the great outdoors for more than 60 years. His purpose on earth has been to not only enjoy the outdoors, but to fully immerse and understand the details and nuances of nature and animals, and to inspire and educate others to do the same. Another offers perhaps even higher praise. He is one of the most exceptional, self-educated, knowledgeable individuals concerning wildlife, botany, and conservation I have ever met. He has shared this knowledge with so many people through so many different venues. He truly demonstrates an outstanding outdoor education and represents a perfect example of the outdoor heritage. Ron Doobie's involvement with the outdoors began as a young man. Ron, who speaks French, was born into a French-Canadian family in New Hampshire. He had a calling to live in the West and was so drawn to Wyoming that he and his wife Carol moved their four sons, two horses, and a family dog to Buffalo, Wyoming when he was just 30. Ron has served as one of Wyoming's best ambassadors since that time, continually striving to be the most professional, well-rounded, and educated outdoorsman, outfitter, and big game hunter he could be. Throughout his career, he has earned the respect and admiration of numerous outdoor experts and authors, as well as past clients and friends. We have a spectacular trip for you this week. It winds through the wilds of Wyoming, but our Paul Ryan says it's not for everyone. So before you saddle up, sit back and take a look. We're 35 miles from the nearest road. This is, it's claimed to be the most remote spot in the lower 48 states. As Ron promoted Wyoming over the years, he also became a nationally known outfitter and is a sought after convention and seminar presenter and educator, highly respected for his vast knowledge of Wyoming's outdoor way of life and its heritage. Another quote from an admirer. I have to say he is a very determined and disciplined individual. He always did what was right. He would never ask anyone to do something that he wouldn't or hadn't done at some point. He is well respected by the industry, the rangers, and his peers. He has had countless clients, many repeat clients. His actions have always spoken louder than words. In 1988, Ron conceived and successfully wrote three bills, which were later introduced and passed into law by the Wyoming legislature the following year. A bill establishing the Wyoming Professional Board of Outfitters, another allowing judges to impose a secondary fine on violators based on the value of the wildlife as determined by the Wyoming Game and Fish Department, and another that established regular and special priced non-resident big game hunting licenses. A devoted Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation member, Ron has raised more than $70,000 from hunts he donated, and in 1996 he received the Foundation's Outfitter Advisory Committee Service Award. As chairman of the Wyoming Outfitters Association, Doobie conducted the first elk calling contest and was responsible for the development of the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation's elk calling contest that is still held today. Ron has been featured, interviewed, and published in dozens of national outdoor and horseman magazines, newspapers, books, calendars, videos, DVDs, and television programs. Since retiring from outfitting in 2014, Ron volunteers as an interpretive guide to tourists traveling to Wyoming. The Wyoming Outdoor Hall of Fame is honored to welcome Ron Doobie as its newest member.